Clorox has been around more than a hundred years. And I would imagine that at a legacy company like that, there are perhaps a fair number of people who like and, and prefer to stick with traditional longstanding ways of doing things. How do you break people out of that to keep on inspiring them to be creative, innovative, curious? Yeah. You know, that was probably the biggest challenge I had when I took on my role as a CEO six years ago, because, you know, it's easy to foster change if there's a crisis, if it's a matter of survival, uh, yeah. people change, right? Because there's a burning platform. Our company did quite well. And my uh, desire for transformation was grounded on the belief that I think has proven true that our world uh, in the consumer business um, is changing so quickly that if we stand still um, and if we don't change now, we'll regret it in the future. That makes for a more difficult burning platform because indeed I've had a lot of conversations uh, with people who've asked me, but why now? And I mean, things seem to be going well. Why do we need to change? Um, the first thing perhaps is um, to create an inspiring vision um, that people want to be part of. So you've got to paint a picture that um, um, energizes and motivates people. That's the single most important thing. Um, and then second, you know, you've got to find role models um, that uh, jump on board quickly. And, you know, you've got to um, develop and nurture and promote them. So people see, oh, this is where the train is going. And these are the type of people who are being rewarded. So you got to reward the right behavior and got to reward the right results. Um, reward and recognition, ultimately, you know, everybody wants to do well. You've got to make it clear to people what's being expected. You've got to paint a picture that's energizing. And then you've got to reward the right behavior. I've always said that uh, in, in my role as a CEO, uh, one of my side jobs was to be the chief culture officer. Uh, I'm, responsible. <laughs> I'm responsible for uh, moving the needle um, and engage people uh, every single day. So what it meant for me it was travel the country and travel the world and you know with my stump speech and then go and paint the picture every single day and uh, time and again and use examples, celebrate success, uh, celebrate people and reward people who've been accountable for their successes. And then slowly but surely, you know, you move people uh, clearly. And then the people who absolutely don't want to be part of it, they opt out over time. But uh, I've been fortunate that um, far and away, uh, the vast majority of people has, has been willing to jump on board and to stay and uh, the results behind this change have been pretty, pretty positive. So that helps too. 